you. Thanks, thanks very much, thanks, and welcome to Move On Up, the fast-moving, perpetual motion quiz show, the show that never stops. Now, the aim of our game is to get here, which is pole position, but our five contestants know that because they are all our finalists from this week's show here on tonight's final, and they're here to compete for our special prize, which is two tickets for a top West End musical and an overnight stay at a Radisson Edwardian Hotel. <laughs> Ready now, fantastic. So um, we've met before, Steve. Yes. And it's Rich, we met, remember? Yep. And this time I want to ask you, matey, what's your wildest dream? What's your um, worst nightmare? Oh, what would this dream? Demi Moore. Demi Moore? <laughs> what, breaking into your bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> and what's your worst nightmare? I'm waking up. Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Bill. Yeah. yeah, does the phrase in your dreams mean anything to you, Steve? <laughs> so, Bill, what is your wildest dream? What is your worst nightmare? Uh, well, my wildest dream would be to live on a desert island with my girlfriend, Shirley. <laughs> yeah? And my worst nightmare, apart from your suit, is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I've got a day job as a su supermarket manager with this, thank you very much. Is, uh, my worst nightmare would be if her mother called round to stay on the island with us. Fair play. <laughs> fair play, Bill. Well, good luck for today. Oh, not fair play, apparently. Good. Little bit of tension already, lovely. Marianne, lovely to see you again. Hi, Richard. And you looking forward to today's final? Yeah, very much. Lovely. Yes. And uh, what about you? What do you reckon your wildest dream, your worst nightmare are? Well, I think my worst nightmare would be winning the lottery and then losing the ticket, finding oh. it mashed up in the washing machine or something like that. That would be awful. That would be terrible. And uh, my wildest dream would be to play opposite Richard Gere. Well, in Pretty it... Woman. Oh, I hope it happens for you, Marianne. I'd love to. <laughs> Not likely. <laughs> no, that's fantastic. Anyway, thanks for coming back and doing this because we missed you. Fantastic. Oh, Colin. Hi, Richard. Pleased to see you on the final, mate. How are you doing? Not what about bad. yourself? What's your wildest dream, your worst nightmare? Well, I'd just like to live somewhere hot with uh, enough money to do what I wanted. And uh, worst nightmare would be never having a drink again. Never having a drink again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's Good not going to happen. Then. Is it? Ever? No. Not really. No. Or the hot thing, ever, eh? Hey. No. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. He thought I meant the drink. Good to see you, Colin. Cheers. And Keith, Hi, pleased to see you on the show, mate. And what about yourself, sir? What about think, your wildest dream, your worst I think nightmare? I'd love to own a, a Formula One or a Le Mans team. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, but then I think my worst nightmare would be finding out how much it was going to cost. Yeah. <laughs> Still, musicals and hotels, that's what we're after, mate. That'd be fantastic. Yep. Anyway, these are our finalists. Let's crack on with the game. Thank you. Okay, let's kick off and I'm going to ask you all one question on the buzzer to see which of you is going to move on up to our pole position. One question for everyone, see how we go. Here we go. With which group do you associate Liam Gallagher? And the first one was Steve. It is? Oasis. Oasis, that's right, Steve. Fantastic. So, you're going to play the first round in our pole position place, and you're going to play the general round. What that is, is three questions on general knowledge. They're each worth five points. And then I move to you all for an open question to get up into pole position, OK? But it's your start, Steve. Here we go. Who lives at 2001 Pennsylvania Avenue? The President. Yes, correct. <laughs> of the United States. States you yes. I know you meant that, of course. <laughs> Second question. Did the mutineers from the Bounty settle on the Pitcairn or the Galapagos Islands? Pitcairn. Pitcairn, correct. Ten points. Would you be a bowler, a boxer or a bungee jumper if you were a member of the ABA? A boxer. A boxer, correct. That's full points for Steve. Well done. Right. So, for the other four, it's a buzzer question to see if you can get into pole position. Buzzers, everybody. Here we go. In which film would you meet Buzz Lightyear? And it's Colin. Toy Story. Toy Story, that's fantastic. Colin, move up. <laughs> okay, Colin, you're in pole position. You get three general knowledge questions, each worth five points. Yeah? Okay. Here we go. Which Roald Dahl character owned the factory visited by Charlie Bucket? Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka, correct. Five points. Does an octopus have eight or ten tentacles? Eight. Eight. Ten points, correct. In the abbreviation AGM, what does the A stand for? Amateur or annual? Annual. Annual, correct. Fifteen. <laughs> Full marks. Well done. So it's a buzzer question open to you four to try and get into pole position. Here we go. Which cartoon sailor 
Love spin it. Oh, well in there, Steve. Popeye. Popeye is correct, Steve. You move on up. Okay, so you get three more general knowledge questions, Steve, and they're going to start with this one. How many King Georges have ruled Britain? One, six, or nine? Six. Six correct. Five points. Does an Arabian camel have one or two humps? Two. It's one. Hard to bear, mate. Ooh, mm. pressure, pressure. Third question for you, Steve. Let's see if we can go with this one. True or false? If you won a BAFTA, you would be honoured by the British Academy of Film and Television Arts. True. True is absolutely correct. That's ten points for Steve. <laughs> so that's our first round completed and we're going to crack straight on with the second round. This one is called Give Me Five. I've got five cards here on which are listed five items or objects. What I want you to do is match them with your answers. Now, you've only got 10 seconds in which to do this, so the more things you can chuck at me, the better to try and get the five things I've got on my cards, OK? We'll start with Steve, because he's in pole position. And if you want to do this at home, I'll show you the card if you don't look away now. And we're going to start with you, Steve. This is your question. Match five things to do with Paris. And you've got 10 seconds, and that starts now. Champs-Élysées. No. Eiffel Tower. Yes. Uh, Saying. No. Um, the Sorbonne. No. Uh, Moulin Rouge. Oh, no, hard to bear, matey. Cracking answers, but not the ones I had. I had the Louvre, I had the Arc de Triomphe, I had Mona Lisa and Notre Dame. Well done. Five points, mate. OK. <laughs> Show us how many things in Paris there are, though, because you got loads. Well done. Bill, it's your turn now to give me five things. What I want you to do is match five seaside resorts You've got 10 seconds, and you start now. Uh, Blackpool. Yes. Bournemouth. Yes. Uh, Keep going. Margate. Yes. Ramsgate. No. Go. Uh, oh! Uh, I had Brighton and I had Eastbourne, but you got three out of five, which is pretty good. So that's it for Bill. <laughs> good, mate. Marianne. Here we go, it's your turn to give me five things on my card. And what I'd like you to do is match for me five TV detectives. You've got ten seconds, and that starts now. Cluso. No. Colombo. No. Dixon. No. Keep going. The Bill. No. A lot of them. Uh, oh, do, 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 do. I had Inspector Morse. I had Jack Frost. No. I had Poirot. I had Wexford and I had Bergerac. Hard lines, Marianne, hard. Let's have a round of applause for Marianne. <laughs> we don't just want to applaud the guys who get the things right. Come on, let's go. Colin, now, you've got to give me five of these items on my card. What I want you to do is match five bridges over the River Thames. You've got ten seconds to do this in, and I'd like you to start now. Foxhall Bridge, Tower Bridge, London Bridge. Tower, yes. Uh, London, Chelsea yes. Bridge. Chelsea, yes. Westminster Bridge. Yes. One more. Mm. Oh, hard to bear, matey. You got four. The other one was Waterloo, but you got four out of the five. Let's hear it for Colin. <laughs> I'm excited. I can read these things. Fantastic. Keith, it's your shot now, matey. Give me five, and I'm going to give you these items. Match five things you would associate with cowboys. You've got ten seconds, and that starts now. Horse. Yes. Rodeo. No. Uh, boots. No. Uh, saddle. Guns. Guns, yes. Um, OK, corral. Oh, hard yeah. to bear, matey. You got two out of the five. I had campfire, I had cattle, I had Indians. But that's the end of that round, so let's have a round of applause for everybody. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and... What I really want to do now is have a look at the scores. Let's have a look at the scores. Marianne, not off the mark yet, but hey, there's lots of time. You're going to get some points, don't you worry. Keith, you've got 10 points. Bill, you've got 15 points. Steve, you're in runners-up position with 30 points, but the leader at the moment, five points ahead of you, has got to be Colin. <laughs> so... 
So, Marianne, how are you feeling? Fine, fine. Okay, long way to go, yeah. Just pleased to be here. You're pleased to be here. I'm what a fantastic attitude, because it doesn't matter about the winning. <laughs> no. What are you going, it does, it does. It no, it doesn't. Does. Just play, and that's good fun. What about Keith, how do you feel? Okay. Yeah? Still yep. ready, limbering up for yeah. the big one. Yeah, just, just like just Liverpool, you're going to come from behind that's at the it. end. First half, like, lays about, and then... Yeah. Maybe. Okay, yeah. what about Bill? How are you doing? I'm going to catch up. You're going to catch up? Yeah, that's the attitude. I'm not that winning is important, of course. Of course not. But that leaves our Colin in the lead. So, Colin, move on up and go to pole position. <laughs> we'll see you after the break. Come back. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Welcome back to our final. We're going to get into our next round now. It's called the category round. Colin, you're in pole position, so you're going to kick this one off. What happens is you choose one of these categories. We've got critters, which is animals and stuff. Uh, fame game, famous people, obviously. Curtain up, and that's theatre. Flashback, that's sort of 60s, 70s, 80s, retro. TV teasers, TV, of course. So which kind of uh, category are you into now? Uh, TV teasers, please. Great, we'll go for TV teasers. So you're going to get three questions, each worth five points. Here we go. You ready, Colin? Yep. Great. Upon which spaceship would you find Captain James T. Kirk? The Starship Enterprise. Yes, indeed. Correct answer. Five points, Colin. Second question. Which TV soap went down the drain in Spain? El Dorado. El Dorado, correct. Fantastic. Next question. Who presented Michael Benteen's Potty Time? Michael Benteen. He did. Fantastic. <laughs> yes. Well done. That was 15 maximum points there for Colin. Bit of a trick question, who presented Michael Benteen's potty time? Obviously, Michael Benteen, but you didn't fall for that old one. So it's a starter question for everybody else now to see if they can get up here into pole position. Hands on your buzzers. Which animal cuts down trees? Ooh, it was Keith in there first. A beaver. Beaver is correct. Move on up, Keith. Yes. And you, sir, can choose any of these except for the one we've just lost, which was TV teasers. So, curtain up, critters, fame game or flashback? Let's go for critters. Critters, fair play, right. Let's go for critters. Here we go, then. Three questions on critters, five points apiece. Which animal closes its nostrils so that, so that it can wallow in water? A hippopotamus. Hippopotamus, fantastic, five points, correct. Second question for you. Which biblical character spent three days and nights inside a whale? Jonah. Jonah, correct, five points. And the third one for you in your critters category, you're good at animals, you. Um, how many legs has a Bombay duck? None. That's absolutely correct, because it's a what? It's a, it's it's, a meal, it's, it's food. Yeah, it is, it's a fish, <laughs> absolutely correct, fantastic, Colin. <laughs> Keith. How could I call you Colin? Keith, what, just put it right there. Yeah, yeah, we're mates now. Fantastic, you got maximum marks there. Fantastic. Bombay Duck, another trick question. Could be trick question day, everybody. Starter for you four to get up here into pole position. Here we go. In the movie, which Tom played Jerry Maguire? And it's Colin. Cruise. Tom Cruise, yes. Move on up, Colin. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you can choose one of these categories that we have left open to us, Colin. Uh, fame game, please. Fame game, good. And I just call Keith Colin. <laughs> so it's the tension, it's a big day. Here we go, we've got fame game for you. We've got three questions, again, five points per question. Was Elizabeth I's husband named John or Edward? She never married. Yes, correct. <laughs> no getting around you, Colin. <laughs> okay, second question. What was Yuri Gagarin the first man to do? Uh, going to space. Yes, he was. Fantastic. Correct. And thirdly, who in a musical had an amazing Technicolor dream coat? Joseph. Joseph. Good one for you. That's great. Colin's got three. <laughs> and maximum 15 points again for Colin. So again, it's a starter question for you four. Hands on the buzzers. Let's go. With which sport is Prince Nazim associated? And it's Keith. Prince Nazim. Horse racing. No. Anybody else? Not horse racing. Yes. Oh, cool. I have to give it to Bill because he did his buzzer. Bill, you'll have to move on up into pole position. <laughs> nerves. Nerves there, Keith. And did he like knowing it flew out the old head? 
Yeah, wait till he sees that you've forgotten. <laughs> Not only. <laughs> what do you want for a uh, category? What do you fancy from these lot, Bill? What have we got left? We've got some um, No Fame Games, we've got Curtain Ups, we've got No Critters, we've got Flashbacks and No TV Teasers. Flashback? It's going to be Flashback, great. Retro. Let's go Retro Quiz. Here we go. This is your category. Number one, Freddie Laker was offering cut price what in the 1970s? Airfares to the United States. That's right, correct. Five points. Second question. Which Brotherhood had a Eurovision winner back in 76? Brotherhood of Man. Brotherhood of Man. Correct, Bill. Five points. And your last question in this section. Which former Tory MP caused an egg extraordinary scandal with her comments about eggs? Edwina Curry. Edwina Curry. Correct, Bill. Five points. <laughs> Close a question, you four, let's go, let's get some more points. Which TV pub used to be run by Bet Lynch? It was Steve. Rover's Return. Rover's Return, you move on up, Steve. Let's go. <laughs> well, I think we are looking at Curtain Up. Is that okay for you? Fine. It's going to have to be, that's what we've got left. Three questions about theatre. So it's your starter, Steve, here we go. By what names are Mr Montague and Miss Capulet better known? Romeo and Juliet. Correct, Steve. Five points. In which musical did Michael Crawford fall for Christine? Have a go. The, the Phantom of the Opera. Yes, correct. Well done, Steve. Under pressure, he got it right. Third question <laughs> for you on curtain up. <laughs> Here we go. In which musical do the performers wear roller skates? Starlight Express. Starlight Express, that's fantastic. Well done, Steve! <laughs> so, that brings us to the end of our category round, so let's catch up with the scores. Marianne, still to get off the mark, but hey, there's another round. You'll get up there soon, don't you worry. Keith, you're in fourth position at the moment with 25 points, still going well. Bill, you've got 30 points, everything to go for you too. Steve, you've got 45 points, you're in the runner-up position at the moment, but in the lead with a fairly convincing 65, Colin! Well done, good. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to play our final game, and it's a quick-fire round called Scramble. It's everybody on the buzzer. You get five points for a correct answer, but you get five points away if you lose one. So uh, I'm going to come out with these as quick as I can so that everyone gets as many chances to score points as possible. OK, everybody, here we go. How many jacks are there in a pack of playing cards? It was Steve. Four. Four, correct, five points. Which sauce is usually served with turkey? Colin? Cranberry. Cranberry, five points, correct. Which London street is famous for its doctors? Steve? I'm sorry, we're going to have to take five points away. Next question. Which pop star became a chairman of Watford Football Club in the 80s? Steve? Elton John. Elton John, you got that one. Five points back again. Next question. Which volcano buried Pompeii? Steve? Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius. Five points correct. In which sport would you use woods, irons and tees? Steve? Uh, oh, it was Colin. Golf. Golf. Sorry, mate. Five points to you, Colin. So you're going so hard. Which Grace did Prince Rainier marry in 1956? Steve? Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly, correct. What does a philatelist collect? Colin. Stamps. Stamps. Five points correct. What is the name of London's famous meat market? Steve. Smithfield. Smithfield. Five points correct. Where might you find beef eaters? Colin. Tower of London. Tower of London. Five points correct. Neptune was the Roman god of what? Steve. The sea. The sea. Five points correct. Who was the legendary queen of the Nile? <sighs> Colin. Cleopatra. Cleopatra. Five points correct. Who might hoist the Jolly Roger? Steve. Pirate. Pirate. It's a flag. Five points correct. What's another name for 14 days? It was Colin. A fortnight. A fortnight. Five points correct. Who was married to Guinevere? Steve. Uh, King... Arthur. Arthur. Five points correct. <laughs> oh. Which fruit do you buy in hands? Colin. Oh, no. Sorry. Five points away. What would you send if you sent an S-A-E? Stamped to dress envelope. Stamped, yes. Five points correct. The pyramids are situated near which... Yes, Steve. Egypt. Um, no, which Cairo. Egyptian city? No, you said Egypt. Sorry, I'm going to have to whack you for that one. Next question. In which sport would you get spares and strikes? Colin. Uh, Tempin bowling. Correct, five points. By what name are Chris Lowe and Neil Tennant better known, Steve? No. Pet Shop Boys. Pet Shop Boys, five points. Well done. In what sort of building would you find a portcullis? 
Colin? A castle. Castle, five points correct. Treasure Island was written by Robert Louis who, Colin? Stevenson. Stevenson, correct. How many trombones led the big parade? 76. Steve, 76, correct. Which Scottish school did Prince Charles attend? Steve? It's gone. It's gone, five points away. Marianne? Gordonstown. Gordonstown, yeah. I think we better give her five. <laughs> I'm not patronising you, but <laughs> you did get it right. Okay, let's crack on. Which TV game show featured darts? Colin. Bullseye. Bullseye, not off. Second question. Uh, which country did Edith Piaf come from? France. France. Correct, Steve. Five points. For which singer did Jean-Paul Gaultier design a famous pointed corset, Colin? Madonna. Madonna, five points. Who was known as the lady with the lamp? Steve. Florence Nightingale. Florence Nightingale, five points. Oh, there's the end of the final! Well, I think we've just got to check the scores now. Marianne, here are the final scores. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> Go and have a wild guess. About five. About right. <laughs> <laughs> Not as many as you got last time. You got loads last time, the last game. Not didn't as you? many as I got last time. No, I you got, got loads, loads last time. Oh, yeah, loads. Yeah, yeah and this time five. No. But hey, you enjoyed yourself, oh, didn't very you? Very much. It's oh, been well, wonderful. We enjoyed having you. It's been wonderful. Thanks. It's been wonderful it's having been you. It's been great. No, it's you. been great having you. Oh, it's been great. <laughs> it's been lovely. Oh, oh, oh stop now. It's been ever so nice. Oh, bless. Want the suit? You want the suit? You can have it. You can have it. Thanks, thanks. You really want this suit? Definitely, yes. <laughs> they mocked me, but not you, Marianne. I Fine. Oh, mistake time. here. It's 175. After all, now, oh, bless. Five. And, uh, now oh, she loves the suit. Fourth, Keith, you got uh, any ideas? You want to have a crack at it? Yeah, score? Probably around about the same as I was last time. 25. 25. Spot on, mate, yeah. So, there you go. You are right though? Four brilliant people. Yeah, they did great. Yeah. Big, bit lot of tension in today's show. It was, yeah. like, really going for it, wasn't it? Did you feel the, 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 the floor like moving with a. That's probably why I couldn't this. get to this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get on with it. Fair play. Phil, 30. Yeah, you got 30. You ended up in third place with 30. Yeah. So, not bad, eh? <laughs> yeah, no, no. yeah, at least you're not trying to have a go now. All right, Keith. And uh, the runner up in today's show was Steve. You got 90, which is absolutely loads. But it wasn't enough to win this one, I'm afraid. But you did great and did you enjoy it. Thanks, that was wonderful. Oh, well, you were great the other really day. Really good well. time. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, enjoyed it, yeah. Okay, the winner, I think it's got to be Colin. <laughs> Colin. Colin scored. Pin your ears back. Colin scored 120 in this game, which is fantastic. He's on his way to Theatre Lands. Today's winner for this week's moving up, please, a big round of applause for Colin and all our contestants. And that's it for this week. We'll see you next week for moving up. Join me then. Thanks again. Bye-bye. <laughs>